Hello, um, my name is Tom C. Tutor, that's me. I'm recording the second video on the differentiation of inverse functions. Um, we set up a general method, um, and what I'd done was we were given a function which is already an inverse function. Um, so just clarify what the question is here. So given y is f of x is the arctan of x upon a, obviously a cannot be equal to zero, otherwise this is un undefined. Okay, so we've got a nice little function, and it's asking us to show that there's no stationary points on on the reals, on x is real. Uh, well, if there's no stationary points, the only way we're going to really solve this is to find any stationary points. And so we have to use the calculus method, really. That is, we have to find f dash of x and solve it equal to zero to get any stationary points. Okay, so SPs ex exist given that condition. One should always, every question you do, doesn't matter what level you're doing, uh, university level or GCE or whatever, is you should always state that little statement there if you're working with uh, stationary points, okay? So it clarifies the technique you're using to establish stationary points. So I have to differentiate this inverse function. So from the first video, the method we used was to basically create x from a this using another function, g of y. G of y is a function that will return x, so it's obviously, if we take the tangent over here, tan y, it's x over a, so it's a times the tangent of uh, y, okay, so tan y multiplied by a, and that will return x. And the technique we, we used in video one was to show the f dash of x was just simply 1 over g dash of y. That's the um, y here, of course, is the independent variable, and x is the independent variable here. Now, um, well, what is g dash of y? Well, we just simply look at this part and differentiate it with respect to y. So it's just 1 over, because it's 1 over, it's a reciprocal, a of sec squared y. Okay? Because when we differentiate tangent, we get sec squared. You know, look that up in the table, so you just need to know that little fact. However, we have that sec squared is actually a trig identity, because sec squared of theta is identical to 1 plus tan squared of theta. So that's a trig identity that you should be um, maybe aware of. If you do forget it, you can just see that tan squared is 1 plus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. And that's 1 over cos squared theta, and that's identical to, you know, you put a cos squared theta here, uh, add it together, that comes 1, etc. Okay, so that's that trig identity I'm using here. So I can write the answer as 1 over a times 1 plus tan squared y. And that's just beautiful, that identity because that means I know what tan y is. It's simply x divided by a. So that's 1 over a times 1 plus x squared over a squared. Okay? And that simplifies to... Um, I'll write over here because I'm, I'm running out of room, sorry. So that just simplifies at the end of the day to a over a squared plus x squared. Okay, so that is what f dash of x, okay? 
So we've got that. Now a is not equal to zero. So this function will never equal to zero. So since a is not equal to zero, f dash of x will never equal zero. Hence, there's no uh, there's no critical points. Well. Yeah, there could be. In fact, there isn't because this denominator um, is never zero because it's a s a is not equal to zero. It doesn't matter what x squared is. So that this this denominator is never equal. So not only is there no stationary points, there's no critical points. But anyway, the question is about stationary points. So there's no stationary points for f of x. Okay. And that's the answer to the question. Okay. And that's how you use the, this method I showed you earlier in, in video one to differentiate inverse functions. There is another method. Um, I shall show you that now. Um, so you're just aware of it. But I suggest this is the method that you should use and clarify that the question's actually asking you this. Um, but the next video will show you that there is yet another sort of other method that you need to know. Right, thank you. Bye.